when, when you make a, a great first film, how careful are you? Are you either of you superstitious when you're making the sequel to being like uh, the way you rehearse or the way you do mm. certain things in the morning, repeating everything because you want to recapture that magic? Or could you sort of talk about the way you guys are, the process of making the sequel versus the first film? I was worried that that process, because when we started it, we, when we started the first one, we evolved this yeah, process. Yeah, we, did, we didn't know. We didn't know what we were going to lock into. And, and really, that process didn't find its left feet until we were kind of a month in, right? Maybe a little bit late, maybe yeah. six weeks in. And by the end, we were just loving it. And I'm talking about how we'd sort of dismantle a, a, a scene and improvise it a little bit and then go back to this source material and use Conan Doyle and then we'd have a scene that's like great but maybe nine pages long and it had to be one page long so then we'd like you know and it's a long process and guys very heavily involved and any of the actors on the day are very and the producers and, and the writers last time we finished basically in in, uh, in Baker Street and then a bunch of stuff on the bridge but we finished our journey by shooting the beginning of our journey and this time we began our June, our journey uh, at Baker Street so it was I think some of it was really daunting but it's like we can kind of only do it one way and that's we do it full steam ahead and we do it you know the entire time we're working I mean you know we don't have a lunch break we work when we're eating um, my wife our producer and, and Lionel and the other our people are our little our little pit crew they just, none of us can help ourselves. We're always talking about something that's three weeks away or three minutes away or, or this or that. So it's kind of like, in a way, everybody is an honorary associate producer. And that and, process, and it was weird, because I didn't know whether, I'm not superstitious, but I didn't, that was the, that, it was that process that I was nervous about recreating. I kind of thought, maybe that just worked on that first. How, how do you step in and start that up again? Um, but like anything, you kind of just have to drop into it. And so starting on this one, we started a little earlier than, than day one. We started with writing um, a good few weeks before, and it just happened. Yeah. We already want to pitch you Sherlock 3, by the way, but we don't want to be <laughs> something. But that one's going to be fantastic. <laughs> Could you tell us about today's scene, what you've been shooting today, and what you're about to shoot? Oh, I haven't done anything yet. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but he still had something to say about it. Um, uh, today. No, honestly, I'm in the phase where two weeks out, and by the time I'm slapping wigs and mustaches on and running down hallways and all that, uh, I call, what did I call myself? The man of a thousand crabby faces. <laughs> <laughs> and we haven't even, we, we still have a little bit of action to shoot. It's crazy. Also, yeah. last time, we basically met, shot a scene or two, and then started kicking ass together for weeks. And in some way, I feel like I got to know you better doing that than anything Physically, else. Because yeah, I'd be shooting, they'd have two cameras going down two sides, and I'd be like, and I'd look over, and he's and I was like, yeah, he's keeping up. He likes to scrap. I was wondering, what, what, does, um, what does Jared bring to the role of Moriarty? What should we expect from this performance? Jared is a... Um, he, he's a fantastic experience and, 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 and quality actor, which yeah. was the most important thing. He wanted someone who could uh, uh, pull the job off. But, I mean, what, what I've seen, and you, you've done more, more of the work with him, but what, I've, what I see or what I got immediately when they mentioned his name is this guy who's got, he's got a fantastic range. Yeah. And he can, in equal uh, uh, um, proportions, terrify and amuse, uh, entertain and threaten and you know you just need all of those on your palette if you're going to play this guy who's meant to be as brilliant and as evil and as mysterious as Moriarty is. Yeah, and he asked all the right questions he really put us to task too because you know he's, he's built a certain reputation for himself and it would be a shame to expose him to a vast audience um, in, in, in not the best possible light so he really put it to us about hey let's you know let's not make this mistake and this, I think we can do better than this. And we were like, absolutely, that's how we feel. And he basically led the charge on this particular incarnation of Moriarty, and uh, and it's it's even better than than we had hoped it would have been. I think people are going to be not surprised, but I, I think a lot of people are going to really, really uh, recognize him for you know for who he is. Maybe for the first time in a in a big uh, a big scenario like this. So. 
you know, we're proud, but we earned it for sure. You know, he likes. He also likes to. Uh, he likes to work. We have time for two more questions. I wanted to know how. Obviously, you have a very successful first movie. I'm assuming this is going to be a very successful second movie. How much are you guys sort of dropping in for Easter eggs or laying the foundation for what most likely will be, you know, a third <coughs> film, or hopefully a third film? I didn't understand the Easter egg. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> let me let me help you. Movies like in, in the Marvel world, right? They'll have like a whole like Captain America shield. Oh and yeah. And they'll go, is that? And I go, yeah. And then I use it, and then we you know, do something silly. Oh, I see with it, it pops but up, but not referred to necessarily. Exactly. So the oh. fans or they call those Easter eggs. Exactly. It's called Easter eggs. That's I didn't know cool. what it was. I meant like to. I heard like it twenty it's times. I was like, keep talking about Easter eggs. Oh, I can't. But I get it. I get it. The explanation was quite good. Really. Yes. Yeah. Uh, we don't have a one yet. Uh, this is kind of a, a different. Right, that's another terminology I don't understand. What's a one? We don't have any. What do you mean? Oh, 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 we don't an have Easter a one Easter. Okay. Sorry, I'm catching up on the Easter egg. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I, don't, I don't even understand. Sorry, tell me what that means. I don't, I don't say it very often around here. <laughs> Sorry. Final question. <laughs> You, yes, you, final you mentioned, uh, oh, no, you mentioned the so, you, so you're not dropping. So any, any. Not that I'm aware of yet, but we might do some additional photography. Okay. I can't think of any Easter eggs. Well, we will now. Now we've got us thinking. Yeah. yeah. Okay, sorry. Thank you. You mentioned the term bromance, um, but the, the big part, of the, I think the, the major success of the first one was the chemistry between you guys and the, the love story, if you will. Um, how does that play in the second one? You just mentioned that you may be downplaying it a little bit? Or? No, I mean, I Hell think... No. <laughs> as a matter of fact... They do have to, uh, <laughs> we do need to be corrected now and again. I don't think when you see this, you'll feel that we've restrained ourselves at all. But um, the truth be told is that, uh, I mean, the bottom line with these stories, it, it's, it's about this one man's observation of this other man who tells him he's the only true friend he has and him realizing that he's the only person that he's actually um, very, very close to besides his wife, you know. And I think that that's just a, a a great theme, you know. So the bottom line is we're in this love together. The brother theme is really strong in this one, actually, yeah. because it go that that's that's when Numi gets involved too, and there's a there's a there's a theme that or, or a demand later late 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 on in this film where it, it, it questions one's reliance on someone else, and can you really trust mm. someone? And, and is anybody ever really what they put themselves forth to be? including us, including our nemesis, including pretty much every character in this movie. That's, that's why I think it's so interesting, is it really is a, uh, really is a, a lot about um, uh, sh the shadow elements of, of everybody, you know. Just thought I'd end on that dour note. Perfect. <laughs> Great. Yeah, thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank, you. Thank, you. thank you. Can you go home yet? Now you can go, right? No. One more time. For Numi, I think. Oh, it's going to be worth it. That'll be worth it. Have a good time. Thanks so much. Thank you.